Hey Wester here. Hey if you're anything like me and you've got big hands and you struggle to get these ball joints into um, servo arms on um, helicopters uh, or anything f for that matter, any, any remote control um, RC unit um, basically what I do, uh, just a little trick that I've worked out for myself I don't know, there's, I'm sure there's millions of ways to do it this is a far, by far the easiest for me um, you just struggle to get these th these little holes in the servo arms are only about 0.5 or 0.6 of a mil in diameter. They're really, really tiny. And the ball itself is huge. It's almost 2 mil, 1.8 mil. So what I do is I get a safety pin, like so. Just a normal kids and nappy safety pin. And I'm get my little blowtorch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat that up red hot, just the tip of it, just get that smoking away, turn it off, Get select the hole I want to select, put it in, I'll take the second one from the end, put it in, and then just give it a bit of a wiggle about, couple of seconds and then put your put your um, it on the table put your ball in your tool turn it over push down screw in until it goes home Once you've got it screwed all the way home, get get your um, a super glue, CA glue, and put a couple of drops on the other side of the th where the thread comes through, like so. And that's your ball joint in, and that shouldn't come undone ever. Um, you don't want to slop it around too much with this because it will um, it can make the hole too big, and you won't be able to. So you still want to have a little bit of a um, a fight with it to get it in. But um, it does go in, as you can see, and that doesn't take anywhere near as long as trying to fight your way through, trying to make a something fit, fit into something that's twice the size. Okay, guys, just thought I'd share that with you, and um, hope it helps someone out there. I'm sure there's other ideas out there, but that seems to work the most easiest for me, anyway.